Alright, so sorry about the sound if the previous video didn't have the best sound, maybe it was a bit boomy, the microphone might have been a bit close to my mouth. Anyway, if we continue on, uh, I've just logged into Sierra Charts using my normal login and I've been given this. So at the moment it's a message log, we can ignore that, get rid of it, and we're presented with something that looks a little bit different to the one I usually use but this is probably what you will see when you first log in. Um, the blank screen can be fixed by adding a chart. So let's go and do that first. Let's go up to File, and we're going to find a symbol. Oh, actually, I might need to just skip that back one step. Just to make sure that you've added your data, first of all, let's go to, uh, where are we? File, Data Trade Service Settings and make sure in here I've just chosen the standard Sierra charts data in advance to make sure that uh, it's simple so you click on that and then file find symbol and from here you should see most of all of these um, we're just going to go and click on CFD and we're going to find GER30 and for the sake of this example, let's just click on an intraday chart. Oh, I don't think it really makes much difference which one you do, whether it's historical or intraday. I don't think it really matters. We'll click on that. And what have we got? So it looks like it's downloading some history. So let's just get rid of that box. And it might take a while. I don't know how long it's going to take to download the history. It looks like actually this is starting from maybe I really can't even tell it's very very different setup to the way I use it very very different so there's a few things I'm gonna have to change here which would be the same for you guys as well wow this is yeah none of my usual functions seem to do what I want it to do to the point that <laughs> I can't even see where we are on here okay it's not responding to me at the moment which is doesn't bode well probably just because the data is still downloading so maybe we just need to give it some time and let it deal with that So what will happen is once the data is downloaded we can go and start changing things around here and start navigating this or start editing this interface to kind of make it look a little bit more similar to what I want and you know, what I'm used to using. So I've just right clicked on the chart and I noticed that it does have the studies option here so later on in this tutorial series we will be showing how to add the DTI which I can see here at the moment but um, you might not on yours because I haven't added your account yet so it looks like the data has been added but uh, yeah for some reason we're still in March and I don't know how to get to current it's been such a long time since I've used Sierra charts on um, on this particular sort of settings so let's try and map out what we're going to need to do next we are going to need to get the interface looking similar to how we're used to using it and also get some of the functionality using the way I like to use it so for example I want to be able to click on this chart and shift it left and right so it moves at the moment it doesn't allow us to do that and I want to be able to have all of my different study settings and things the same up here I want to be able to um, have key commands and things like this set up so all of those we will take a look at in the next video